fellow classmates, uh, my name's Connor, as you all know, and I'm unable to be there this Monday morning, but I am still here in spirit with this YouTube video, and bear with me because it's my first YouTube video, but that's okay. Anyways, so our group's theme was Loss of Innocence, and as you all know, or hopefully know, um, Loss of Innocence is a major theme throughout the novel Three Day Road, and I'm here to talk about a few major plot points that demonstrate this theme, and also my group, Maddie, Tara, and Mackenzie, which are hopefully standing over here, if not, that's okay, are also going to discuss another couple of plot points, as you can probably see on our visual, which I don't know if it's up or not, but you will. And anyways, just try to ignore the extreme choppiness of this video. Um, yeah, as you can probably tell, it's my first time editing a video. Yeah, it is. Okay. Anyways, here we go. So to start off this presentation, I'm going to kind of define what loss of innocence means, as most of you probably already know. But Webster defines loss of innocence as freedom from guilt or sin through being unacquainted with evil. An example of that is um, when we're children, we are often carefree and have no guilt or worries about anything, really. And, well, our only worry is what we're going to do today or how much fun we're going to have. Um, so when we grow up and learn what the real world is and how cruel the world can actually be, that's when we're known to have lost our innocence. Or if as a child we um, learn what sex is or see our parents fighting for the first time. And innocence is often accompanied by, um, let's say, ignorance, which is just by simply being uneducated or not knowing something. And this innocence that we have is usually or always unaccompanied by evil. And once we see this evil, we lose our innocence and lose what we know to be. Our whole world changes. Our whole mind, what we perceive as good, changes because we've now lost this innocence, this one thing that you can never get back because once you learn what the real world is, you can't trick yourself into knowing or pretending that you don't know what it is. You can't pretend that you don't know what death is. You can't pretend that you don't know what sex is. You can't pretend. And that's why loss of innocence is such an important theme in this novel because so many characters have their first experience of death or for their first experience of killing somebody or their first experience of becoming a woman and this loss of innocence changes their whole perception of the world and that's what we're focusing on. So the first major plot point that demonstrates our theme of loss of innocence is when Niska first has her period. So, this demonstrates loss of innocence because it is when Niska first makes her um, transition from childhood into womanhood, and she first has her period when she sees her father killing two Wendigos, um, Mika's wife and Mika's son, and this kind of, this goes hand in hand with the period because um, when a woman has her period, it's often accompanied with the loss of innocence because of what I said before, a child going into womanhood, and but also by seeing her father actually kill someone, her perception of her dad has changed, her perception of the world has changed, as she's now seen death and seen what she's be to become. So the quote I'm going to use to represent this is a quote said early on by Niska when she has her period, and it is this. Hopefully you can all see that. And it says, I placed my hand between my legs and then brought it to my face stared at the little smear of blood on my fingers, hoping to see some sign of what awaited me." So this goes along with what I said before as <clears throat> what awaits her as in when she becomes this Wendigo killer. And what kind of goes along with this is my second point which skips ahead into the novel, but it also relates to Niska and her period as she first kills her first Wendigo. And this is another loss of innocence as this is her first kill. And it just demonstrates another perception of the world around her changed in her mind. Something that she can never get back is the knowing what it's like to not kill someone because now she only knows what it's like to kill somebody. And um, the quote we use to represent this is 
this one. There we go. With a great gush of spittle and blood, the last sticking air in his body left him and splattered onto my rough cotton shirt. So that's kind of a quote of just right when she kills him. And she has her period right after that. And what kind of that kind of symbolizes the loss of innocence as first when she saw her father kill a Wendigo, two Wendigos, and now when she's killing her own Wendigo. That's all for now, though. Um, I'm going to let my group talk now because I'm sure they're bored waiting for me to finish. <laughs> um, they have a lot of good points, too, on the visuals. So I'll be back to introduce the skit, though. Yeah. Okay. Bye for now. So as you probably all are now geniuses on the theme of the loss of innocence in the three-day road, um, Maddie, Tara, and Mackenzie are going to do a skit, uh, a reenactment of the scene where Elijah and Xavier have their first kills, and really go through a huge um, part of their lives where they lose their innocence and actually feel a part of the war lose what they used to have. So after this, my group will have some concluding thoughts, um, but that's all for me. I hope I didn't bore you too much with my talking about the points on this wonderful side of YouTube, but yeah, um, hope you enjoy the presentation, hope you enjoy the skit, and hope you enjoy the rest of your Monday. Bye guys. I also hope I didn't embarrass myself too much.